me, and I will never let my size come in the way of hockey for me. I always go hard in the corners. I always want to take on the biggest guy just to show him that I can play with him. So, but if you have the mindset that you're not going to be able to play hockey if you're short, then you're going to have that mindset. But you just got to go out there and play like you're the biggest guy out there. Everyone's always calling him little guy and making fun of him because of his size, but he's the hardest working guy out there and he'll put anyone on their butt if, if they're not paying attention. For his whole life he's been here like, you're too small, you're too small. And he's, he's been having to deal with that and he, he's, he feels as if he has to show people, hey, I'm, I'm tough. I, 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 people know he's tough. Everybody knows the kind of player he is. He doesn't have to prove anything to anybody anymore. Maybe, maybe earlier he, he, he had to, but everybody knows who Chris Hawkins is and what he brings to the table. And, you know, you can't teach heart. Um, you know, uh, I remember a famous Toronto Blue Jay pitcher, Marcus Stroman, heart doesn't me or height doesn't measure heart, right? And that, that's true with him. Uh, his heart outweighs any, any, any height restriction that he has. And, you know, it's going to be sad to see him go after this year because you just can't teach that tenacity. He doesn't wear a letter on his jersey, but he leads every day on the ice, off the ice. Um, he doesn't need a letter on his jersey to, to show people what he can do. And, you know, he's got a bright future, whatever he wants to do because of how hard he works. So. about this season is probably how well our guys have come together and just worked towards our goal of making a playoff run. We don't, I mean, yeah, sure, we have some off days, everyone does, but other than that, we're always giving it 100% out there. That's probably my favorite part of the season.